Welcome to the another tutorial video. Today, we will review how to use our volume screener. First, let's move to our dashboard and then choose volume screener. Here we can see the table that contains traded volumes data for different tickers and exchanges. Let's see what information the table provides. First, we can see the traded pairs information like Bitcoin, Ethereum and others. Next goes the side column. It can be buys, sells or delta. Then we can see the customizable columns, like current price of an asset or price change in percents, during, 5 minute, 4 hour and 1 day intervals. The same logic goes for the next columns of total traded volumes during given intervals. The most interesting part is the next 5 columns, where each represents a mini heat map of traded volumes during a given period of time. Each column can be sorted from the lowest to the highest values, like price, price changes, traded volumes, and other columns. You can also sort the heat map columns to detect assets with the highest trading activity. We collect statistics of traded volumes which allows to find the most interesting and the most inactive assets at the moment. In other words, the brightness of the heat map indicates trading activity of an asset. And you also can see traded volumes for each bar of the heat map, you just need hover the mouse, like here. Now let's talk about the settings of the screener. You can filter the table by assets, for example to include or exclude given coins, like Bitcoin or Ethereum. You can choose what kind of volumes to show in the table. For example, you can show only buys or only sells, and you can draw the heat maps based on traded volumes in dollars. The most interesting thing is that you can organize your columns the way you want. You can add the needed columns and delete the other ones. There are many different metrics available in the screener table, such as price changes, specific traded volumes, like buys, sells, delta or total traded volumes, each available for different periods of time, from minute to daily data. It is possible to reorder these columns like here. Now let's try to create a workspace with this screener inside. We need to go to charts and workspaces section and create a new workspace there. Let's name it screener volume. Now I'm gonna create a new widget of screener and make some setups for myself. All these settings will be saved when I decide to come back to work next time. I will just delete some columns I don't need. And do a little resize. Also I would like to see the chart widget. Now let's sort the table and see the most active assets at the moment. I will also synchronize these two widgets. Let's see the first asset in the table. It should be actively traded at the moment. We can see how delta volume spiked. Remember, the mini heat map in the screener represents these volumes on the chart. If we open the next asset, we can see the same situation with the delta volumes. That's how you can easily spot delta anomalies using our screener, without manual search through charts. You can filter for assets showing active buying or selling pressure in real time, or spot inactive ones that might be preparing up for a big move. By using these tools, you cut through the noise and stay focused on where the real market activity is happening. Good luck with your trades, and don't forget to subscribe, and hit the bell button. See you next time.